justice for George Floyd. He's in cuffs. Get your knee off his neck by author Derek Newton. Wake up, America. We can't teach you empathy. You either have it or you don't. It's time for Africans to reassess our strategies to obtain freedom. We've been marching, we've been praying, and we've been ideal citizens in America ever since we docked here in 1619. Yet, what has changed? Nothing at all. And what many have confused is progress with concessions. Progress can never, and I mean never, be achieved without a struggle or bloodshed. Your enemy will never relinquish his power without the fear of death, murder, or being overthrown. Naturally, any entity that controls power will seek any instrument to remain on top. And America is a master of this deception. They have convinced poor whites that they will have a seat at the table of white supremacy one day. They instill in them it's better, better to be poor and white instead of being black. Only when whites realize that the one percenters never plan for them to have a seat at the table of power, the sooner we will be able to come together as a nation because we have more in common than we believe. And at this point, I don't have all the answers, but I'll tell you one thing. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. And believe me, when I speak these words, they come from the bottom of my heart because of course I would choose peace over violence. But sometimes you have to meet power with power, blood with bloodshed. You cannot build a new home on a rotten foundation because it too will crumble in time. To build something new and to ensure its longevity, the foundation must be new. Wake up America, you're running out of time.